Constable Boys team. You might want to write it, yeah. Junior Bryce Carpenter. Senior Charlie Clark. Senior Joseph Cordero. Junior Kamoy Jones. Senior John McDermott. Junior Rashawn Plummer. Junior David Martinez. Junior Nick Sanders. Freshman Diego Souza. Junior Colin Sylvester. And sophomore Alan Ives. Barstable is coached by Scott Thomas. And now for your starting lineup for your Brockton boys team. In goal, senior captain Seth Anderson. Senior defender Leandro Barros. Senior defender Paulo Romalo. Senior forward Edson Lopes. Senior forward Leandro Texera. Senior defender Kevin Diaz. Junior midfielder Jalen DeRosa. Sophomore midfielder Joel Arsenal. Junior defender Eric Brito. And senior defender Keon Andrade. Brockton is coached by Herminio Furtado. And ladies and gentlemen, if you'd be kind enough to please stand, remove your hats, and face the flag as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Rocky Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton Boxers. And today, the Red Raiders of Barnstable High School come to town to face the 5-5-2 five, five, Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Chris Bazile. Chris, the Boxers have had a tough start to the season. They were going strong. They're undefeated at home. Their first loss to Marlboro. Marlboro, excuse me, put them on kind of a downward spiral, but they're trying to work their way back. Yeah, they're trying to make their way back, and they're looking for another win against this Barnstable club. It won't be easy, but they're just gonna they're just gonna have to fight through it. Barnstable new on the schedule this year. As you mentioned, they played earlier in the season, and the Red Raiders are wearing their away white jerseys with red and black trim. The Boxers in their new this year black jerseys, red trim around the white numbers. Part of the perks of winning a state title is you get new jerseys. Yeah, that's, yeah, those new jerseys look nice on those boxes. Brockton graduating 16 of 28 players last year. A similar situation is the boxers are in this year, a very senior heavy team. They are led by senior goalkeeper Seth Anderson. Yeah, and Seth, yeah, Seth Anderson is going to have to play, do his part, and do not allow any goals for the Boxers to win this one. Boxers will starting off with opening possession. They immediately send it long over the top, and immediately with an opportunity, a shot, and it goes just wide. Barnstable coming out strong. That was a that was a strong offense by Barnstable. Barton has to be aware for that, for that. 
You can see the difference in strategies right off the bat. Barnstable sending it long. That's how Brockton played under the previous regime before Herminio Furtado came in and taught the short passing ticky tack European style. Yes, the European style is sort of the best way to go for soccer sometimes. Yeah, what I'm looking forward to for this one is is the senior forward Leonardo Teixeira. He's he's I believe he's the leading goal scorer for the Brockton Boxers. They're gonna definitely need him tonight to this day. Of course, Leonardo putting up a hat trick in the state title game last year against Longmeadow. Twenty goals on the year last year. Changed his number from 18 to 11 this year. Looking to keep the momentum going. Now Brockton with an opportunity. It is Leonardo Texera on the far side who loses it. Barnstable takes over and sends it out of bounds off of the Brockton boxers. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to Joel Arsenal. Joel Arsenal is the complimentary hybrid midfielder. He's an excellent player, and I'm, I'm looking forward to what he has tonight, today. Strange to see a sophomore cracking the starting lineup of such a senior-heavy team. Exactly, yep. So last year we saw it with then-sophomore then sophomore Jalen DeRosa. And a push. Edson Lopes was pushed from behind. Free kick from the boxers. Almost in corner kick range, but with a better angle. It'll be taken by number 13, Jalen DeRosa. Rosa's long kick spinning outward and it's headed out. Goal kick for the Red Raiders. Fair amount of wind here. You can see the flags blowing across the field. Low kick headed by Number 22, Keon Andre. And now Barnstable sends it out of bounds right next to the box boxer bench. It's DeRosa back to Paulo Romalo. Yeah, yeah, the surprising thing this season about this boxer club, they have talent, but just a surprising, I believe, 6-6 six and six record. They, they, they play better than their record sometimes, but sometimes they just don't show up in certain games. Before the game, Coach Furtado said, the defense is the game, the goalkeeping ability is the same. The only thing that has changed is the ability to finish and put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, they they scored they scored more goals, a lot more goals than they allowed this season, which is a little, little perplexing to see, which is, which is a little surprising. Free kick for the boxers now, and an opportunity, a shot in, what a save by the Barnstable goalkeeper. It came off the foot of number 12, Kevin Diaz. He launched a rocket that was off of the hands of the Barnstable goalie. Brockton trying to keep the pressure up here. Romalo gives it away. Brockton takes it back. It's Diaz up to number 16. That's Joel Arsenal. His shot goes far across the box. Texera can't get his foot on the high cross, and it goes out of, out of play. I'm liking what I see from this Brockton offense the last few possessions. Just north of five minutes in, still scoreless between the Barnstable Red Raiders, the Brockton Boxers. Brockton with a couple of opportunities 
thus far. Thrown right in front of the boxer bench. Romalo chasing this one down back to Junior Xavier. Not a playoff. Farnstable on the far side. Yeah, Brockton's currently last in the big three division between Durfee and New Bedford. They're, they're looking to advance and climb up top of those standings. So just so they have some uh, comfortable seating in the playoffs. Big three divisional matchup here at Marciano Stadium tomorrow as the Durfee Hilltoppers come to town. Big game for Brockton, a makeup due to weather. Kickoff for that one at 3 p.m., a very weird start time. Yeah, it's very weird. It's, it was, well, Durf, well, Durfee just played outstanding. I believe Durfee never lost the game yet this season. I believe they're 11 and 0 and 1. So let's we'll see what they bring when they come here. We're, we're being told the reasoning for a 3 o'clock start time is because everybody wants to watch the first half of the Patriots game and, and to give the boys team a little bit extra of a rest so they're not playing twice within 24 hours. Here's a header <laughs> that goes out the other side. Romalo has it. He's going to cross one and no boxer in the area. Leonardo Texera trying to chase it down. Not able to do so. Barnes double throw. Constable yet to have a shot on the Brockton goalkeeper, Seth Anderson. Free kick just inside of midfield for the Red Raiders. Romalo gets a foot on it. And it's going to find its way out of play right at the 50-yard line of the football markings. And these Barnstable Red Raiders, they look like a pretty big bunch of guys. They look, they look a bit bulky and a um, little strong to them, a little strength to them. Always one of the better teams in Division Two. There's Leonardo Texera. He makes a nice move. He's got an opening. Texera's shot. Ooh. It's loose in the box and Ooh. sliding, unable to get his foot on it. And the boxers have another opportunity taken away by the Barnstable Red Raiders. That was an opportunity right there. Brockton's going to be sh shooting themselves in the foot if, if later in this game, if this is a tight game that for, that, Joel, for that missed goal. Joel Arsenal sliding in, trying to get his foot on that one. And so far, Coach Furtado's words have proven true. Nothing has changed except the ability to finish. Yes, I've, I've seen it all season long. Crossbars, crossbars, It's been that type of season for Brockton. Just missed goals and all that. Yeah, they should. They got to. They got to learn how to capitalize on, on that type of standpoint, on that type of the part of the game. Of course, last season they outscored everybody by leaps and bounds with Texera finishing atop the boxer scoring sheet. Junior Gomes had a phenomenal season as well. He has graduated now, plays at Massasoit. 
Yeah, these yeah these Brockton boxes they got a good future to them. As you said, most of them are seniors, and let's see, let's see what uh, what they what do they do for the rest of their for the futures beyond Brockton High. Ten minutes into the first half, still scoreless here between the Barnstable Red Raiders and the Brockton Boxers. Brockton with a couple of opportunities that could very easily be goals. And here they go again, it's Texera. Up to Arsenal. Oh. That's gonna be a goal kick for the Red Raiders. They rule it goes off of Arsenal out of play. I'm actually looking forward to see Kale Vieira. Kale Vieira is a is a smart, instinctive player, the soft, the um junior midfielder. He has a few goals already in this year. Once he's in, checked into the game. Xavier fighting for it in the middle of the field. He it gets it to Leonardo Texera. Now Texera over to Edson Lopes, his shot. And it goes out the other side and out of play again. Yeah, as we said earlier, Brockton actually blew out Barnstable in Hyannis on September 8th, 5-1, to one, and they're looking for another game just like that today. And they're, and they're looking like they look like they're on the verge of it, too, with this offensive attack they've been showing. Barnstable, a fairly long ride from here, so that, of course, plays into... The ability to get the legs going. Here's an opportunity for Edson Lopes on the far side. And Procton, a couple too many passes, and Ooh. now there's going to be a stoppage as a Barstool player was hit in the head. Mm. It's not good to see. And immediately calling for the trainer of the officials. It's one of those loud football hits, the, the helmets cracking against each other. Yeah, that's something you just don't want to see at all. Not dirty, just uh, coincidental, so no cards handed out. Seth Anderson makes his first save on the day. Refs are going to rule advantage here and keep play going as Anderson comes out and picks this one up. Nice cleanup by Anderson, stopping the Barnstable offensive attack. Arsenal over to Lopes. Lopes on the near sideline. The stutter step, trying to turn the corner. He makes a cross. Texera in front. Can he get a shot off? No. But Brockton recovers the ball. Boxer is walking gingerly. That was number 20, Eric Brito. Yeah, man, to talk about that championship game against Longmeadow last year, that was just a beautiful game. You could tell those were two of the best teams in the nation playing at that time, and it was, it was really special to see Brockton win that one. It's Brockton down 2-0 at the half. 
Herb Brooks stepped in, gave his miracle speech, and the boxers put up five unanswered in the second half, and the final score was five to three, Brockton winning the state title out at Worcester State University. Of course, the team Longmeadow beat to get to that game were the Marlboro, uh, I believe they're the Lancers. Marlboro Lancers. The Longmeadow Lancers, I believe, actually. The Longmeadow Lancers. Marlboro was the team that Longmeadow beat to get out to that game. And Marlboro called Brockton High Athletic Director Kevin Cairo, not so newly named athletic director, and said, hey, do you want to add us to the schedule? Mr. Cairo is a fan of sending the soccer team on long bus rides. Sent him about an hour and a half uh, northwest to Marlboro. And that was the Boxers' first le first loss on the year. Yeah, that was yeah that was a special season, a special ride. First state title in Boxer soccer history. Nice passing by Brockton. Nice passing. Now it's DeRosa. Arsenal launches one to the right of the uprights. The kick is no good. Already a lot of shots on goal in this first half of Brockton. They got to keep that pace going. Back and forth across midfield. Barnstable comes away with it. Now Romalo sends it back north to Texera, who's in a foot race. Leonardo Texera comes away with it, and they're going to say he pushed down the Barnstable defender. Yeah, Texera thought he had that one, but, but did it a little illegally. Free kick for Barnstable. Uh -oh. Offsides against the Red Raiders. DeRosa sending it. High looking for Leonardo Texera. Barnstable sends it right back. That's Romalo backpedaling to grab this one, sending it to number 12, Kevin Diaz. Derosa back to Romalo. Rockton settling things down here. Junior Xavier back to Seth Anderson. Derosa up for Edson Lopes, who can't catch up with it. Barnstable takes over. Yeah, Edson Lopes got some speed to him. He's just a very fast and very fast player. Justing Fonseca into the game. He will replace Keon Andre. <laughs> really is the one change we've seen in goal for the boxers. Last year, three senior goalkeepers, all phenomenal footwork ability. Seth Anderson, excellent goalkeeper, but can't really play with his feet to the extent that the three goalies last year were able to. Yeah, Seth Anderson has he has he has a little flaws in his game, 
but he's just trying to work on that. I seen him, I seen him doing some drills early on before this game started. That's that's exactly what he was working on was was his feet. Yeah, and um, he's trying to display it here today. Another goal kick for the Red Raiders. About halfway through the first half. Fonseca over to Lopes. Back to Romalo to Fonseca. Not a play off of Barnstable deep in Red Raider territory. Now it's Texera, and he scores! Leonardo Texera off the throw in. He snuck behind the Red Raider defense, and Brockton's on the board. That's Leonardo Teixeira's game. That's really what he's best at. He loves to score goals, and he does it so often. Leonardo Teixeira has the boxers up 1-0, 19 minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the first half. Yeah, and Barnes the ball, they have to pick up their offensive pace. They're just, yeah, that type of attack is what I like to see. Rush your, rush your forwards down there. And they just got to, they got to get some shots on goal as, as often. So Texera breaking the ice here. Halfway through the first half. We'll wait for the official scoring, but Edson Lopes might get the assist on that for the throw in. Maybe. Yeah, Leonardo Texera, I don't know what he may do after Brockton High Soccer, but. He should Here he goes again, Leonardo Texera in alone. His shot, and it goes just north of the crossbar and out of play. I don't know what to share. It might do after Brockton High, but he has a good future in soccer. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for this kid. I'm really happy for him. Tyelson Gomes and Marvin Dure in for the boxers. Leonardo Texera gets a breather. Texera, one of those feel good success stories from last year. He moved to the United States about a month before. The soccer season started. Didn't speak a word of English. Had a phenomenal year. How's his English today? Right now. I'll defer to not so newly named athletic director Kevin Caro. Picking up the language slowly but surely. Very positive kid, always a smile on his face. You could see a microcosm of that in the state title game where Longmeadow was double teaming him and playing him very physically. And he didn't get frustrated. Kept the cool head, and you saw the result of that hat trick in the second half of that game. Yeah, that's the type of demeanor you have to have in your life. You just got to be a little positive all the time, and good things will happen for you. Okay. Yep. Romalo sends us yep. out of bounds, slipping a little bit on the. 
side of the field. The clock stops. Barnstable throw in. Now Brockton takes over. They yep. have an opportunity as they're breaking yeah, up did. field. The Xavier across. Telson I mean, goes. Running without the ball. Can't catch up to it. Barnstable sending it back the other way. Ooh. Advantage ruled for the boxers. That's why there's no penalty call. The cross broken up by the Red Raiders. Clock stops and Junior Xavier is down on the field. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Junior Xavier is going to be seen by Jerry Connor. Injury substitution for the boxers. Kevin Diaz back on the field. Barnstable with an opportunity off the back of the heel of number 15, Daniel Kenlin. Now it's Jalen DeRosa. Yeah, Brockton just looking for uh, some holes in this Red Raider defense. Arsenal sending it behind Kevin Diaz. Diaz over to Fonseca. Now back to Paulo Romalo. Yeah, beautiful passing by Brockton. Keeping the possession arrow to, towards them. Marvin Mocha with it now for the boxers. Fonseca to Diaz. Diaz a little bit wide of Marvin Dure. Mala, the anchor of the boxer defense. Sending it to Leandro Barros. He sends it long over the top of the foot race. Can Ooh. DeRosa catch up to it? No. Saved by the Barnstable goalkeeper. Nilton Xavier into the game for Broughton. Another sophomore, he will replace Arsenal. Yeah, but Nilton Xavier, the forward, he's gonna his job is just to score goals and give Arsenal a little break. Let's see if he could get one soon.
some boxer alumni on the sidelines from last year's championship team. Junior, Junior Gomes, Dalton Roach, the starting goalkeeper. Claudio Mascarenas. And Odeir Montero, the corner kick specialist. That really was a stacked team. Yeah, they were definitely stacked last year. Definitely, yes. Undefeated up until their last game of the regular season against the hated New Bedford Whalers. And that brought the boxers kind of back down to earth, that loss in the last game. So yeah. We, we are stoppable, so we need to clean up the mistakes in the game. And then they went on to beat. Let's see if I can get the order right. Silver Lake was the second round. Was it Mansfield the first round? Yeah, it was one of those teams. I couldn't quite. St. John's King Prep. Phillip, we beat eight to one here. Silver Lake was four to one here. Needham in the South Sectional Final was two to one at Whitman Hanson at the neutral site. On to the state bracket is an opportunity, and I don't know what kind ooh, of attempted ooh, save that was, ooh, but ooh. confusion in the goalie box. He was. Boxer was pushed down, no call. Yeah, that's a false call by the referee. Marvin DeRay certainly deserved that penalty kick. False call. That was a false call. So the neutral site then became Brockton High School, and Brockton High happened to be playing in that game. That was a, that was a fair coincidence. <laughs> fair Happy coincidence. coincidence. It happened to uh, the year prior against Lincoln Sudbury, and Lincoln Sudbury came out victorious in that game. So Procton defeating St. John's 2-1 to one in that game and then on to the state title game. 5-3 right? at Worcester State University. A lot of fanfare and ceremonies to go along with that one. A pep rally at City Hall the night before the game and... Yeah, those yeah those players they were like rock stars for Brockton in that short they amount of time. Are. They still are. Yeah. <laughs> They're like rock stars. Got to keep the jerseys from last year. Sweatsuits, jerseys, Sweatsuits, jerseys t-shirts. Yeah, but Milton Xavier has to get himself a little bit active in this one. Just a little, seems to be just running around a bit. Xavier tapping it, and Xavier launches a shot off the crossbar. Yeah, that was exactly what I wanted. That was exactly what I wanted to see from him. Just maybe six inches lower. Yeah, just six inches lower, yeah. Yeah, Brogdon has had their chances, and let's see if the Red Raiders could encounter that. Boxer throwing on the far sideline now with about seven minutes to go in the first half. This one goes back to Seth Anderson. He gives it off to Romalo.
Yeah, the Ramal Paulo Ramal, the anchor in the defense, as you said, he's he's playing a pretty a, a fair game so far. Herminio Fertero, the coach is loving it. Had a rough start last year. He started off as the anchor of the defense. Had a few tough games and came back in about halfway through the season as the starter and really stepped his game up and proved that he earned the spot as the starting defensive captain. Yeah, he certainly deserved it. I've seen him play a few games and he's always he's always on his toes. You know? He's always on his toes. Now, foot race, uh, I think this one's going to be out of play. It is. Goal kick for the boxers. Now it's Vanilton Xavier. Can't get his foot on it. Barnstable sends it back the other way. A couple of posts, a couple of shots that have gone wide by just a few feet. And only one goal so far for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, Brockton certainly is gonna have to keep that offensive pace going. And they've been they've been close on a lot of goals, as you said. So with it, he defers to Kevin Diaz. Now it's Fonseca. Over to Le Leandro Barros. Barros running in the middle of the field. Back to Diaz. Get a short for Fonseca. Dory trying to get it to DeRosa and Proctor calling for a handball. They will get that call. DeRosa with it, taken off his foot by Barnstable. They send it back upfield and it's Paolo Romalo. Malo to Fonseca to Diaz. Barros catching up with it. A shot's going to go well high and well wide. Yeah, that one's not even close to the goalkeeper. That one landing in the long jump pit on the far side. Over the fence, through the track. Two minutes to go in the first oh, half. Official done. time kept on the field by the referees. Do our best to gauge how much time. A shot in this one. Wow. Bobbled by the Barnstable goalkeeper and filtered out the other side. Although they're missing these goals, Coach Furtado is loving what he's seen so far. Although they're missing Coach Furtado. At some point, 
at some point the dam is going to break and the water is going to come flooding through. Yeah, Brockton certainly going to pay for these missed goals in the future when it comes playoff time. Barnstable will throw in. <laughs> Throws up for Vanilton Xavier. Now back to Barros. Ref's Ooh. not supposed to. Yeah, that'll be a tie-up. Ref's not supposed to stop an offensive opportunity for either team. If time should expire during that opportunity, the whistle will blow after the ensuing kickoff if either team scores a goal or once the opportunity has been thwarted. Whistles blow. The first half has come to an end. It's one to nothing. The boxers over the Barnstable Red Raiders. The lone goal scored by Leonardo Texera. The assist on that goal to Edson Lopes off a throw in. Your thoughts on the first half? Yeah, my thoughts on the first half is the Brockton defense has just played outstanding, especially um, Paulo Romalo and, Le and Leandro and Le Leonardo Texera has to do his thing, score more goals. We'll see him in the second half more often, as he took a, a good breather. It's 1-0 Brockton over Barnstable at the end of the first half. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Rocky Marciano Stadium for second half action between the Barnstable Red Raiders and the Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joining alongside Chris Bazile, the score is 1-0 Brockton on top of Barnstable. The goal, Leonardo Texera assisted by Edson Lopes. Chris, what did you see in the first half? What does Brockton have to improve on to convert on the many opportunities they've had thus far? Yeah, they have to convert. That's pretty much what it is. And um, I love the defense, what I'm seeing, and pretty much and pretty much try to get the ball to the um, Barnstable side of the field more often. Keep the possession, keep the possession of the on their feet all the time. Because Barnstable, I barely seen them with the ball. And um, yeah, and if they keep on doing that, this game should be sort of a clean sheet for Brockton. Brockton with a new goalkeeper in instead of Seth Anderson. George Chariotakis. It is George Chariotakis. Romalo stepping this one in. Whistle stoppage. Yeah, George Chariotakis. I wonder if he could do the same job Seth Anderson did. And I'm looking forward. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching him. The referees are going to have a conversation here on what the call is. It's going to be a free kick for Barnstable. Nobody knows why. The boxer defending wall is going to back up 10 yards, which almost puts him in the goal. Mm. Yeah, this, yeah, that was an interesting call. And it's placed in the box, so why it's not just an outright penalty kick? I don't, I don't get this one. I don't know what the call is. Yes. Right. Barnstable, the best opportunity they've had of the day. And Brockton's defense blocks it away. Can they clear it out? Yes. Great defense by Brockton. Great. And we're going to try to figure out what the call was that led to that almost penalty kick for the Red Raiders.
quick restart for the Foxers. Leonardo Texera still on the boxer bench. Milton Xavier, his replacement hit a crossbar late in that first half. Also setting it long across the field looking for that's number 18 Marvin Dure on the far side. Yeah, the Red Raiders are lucky that the score is 1 0 and not at least 4 0. It could be 4 5 6, a couple of hit posts. Free kick for boxers. About as good a position as they could have with the strikers they've got. Looks like Ramallah's going to take it from about give or take 35, 36 yards out. Direct on low, bouncing off of one of the Red Raiders' heads Ooh. and into the Awaiting arms of the Barnstable goalkeeper. Colin Sylvester having an excellent day in net so far for Barnstable. Very excellent. Rosa looking long into the middle. He's got his man. A shot. And it trickles wow. just wide. Brockton within two feet of wow. another goal. And it's another missed opportunity for the Brockton wow. Boxers. Wow. It was a nice kick, but just couldn't reel it in. But still, but still a good day for these Brockton forwards and these midfielders. They're, they're still playing outstanding today. But they're just wishing they had some goals on their stat board. Lots of opportunities, and one has to wonder what's so interesting on the roof of the press box that Mr. Carroll keeps looking up. There's another opportunity taken down. Nine, Tails and Gomes, no whistle. So we've had two posts, two near misses. Of course, the first half opportunity on the cross from Texera. Couple point blank saves. Right past the diving legs of Edson Lopes. Couple of point blank saves for the Barnesville goalkeeper, uh, Colin Sylvester. Yeah, the Brockton goalkeepers, as we said, sort of had a quiet day so far in, um, Chariotakis is trying to keep that mood going. Not not much action on on that side of the field. Okay. We don't want to. <laughs> Texera is standing up on the boxer sideline. One would assume he's coming in fairly soon. Next to a couple of the co-captains from last year, Junior Gomes. Is that Claudio down there with uh, Leonardo too? Yeah, it's Claudio Mascarenas.
Rosa in the middle of the field. That's Leandro Barros. Dude. Nice passing Gomes. by Brockton. Gomes a shot. Sylvester another save. over the middle for Vanilton. Oh. And Xavier can't corral it. DeRosa with it. Flicks it out. And Barnstable takes over. It's going to be on sides. And Romalo sprinting ahead very nicely to send that one out of play. Yeah, not many substitutions in this game so far. It's been sort of a, most of the starters have been playing the entire game. Ten minutes into the second half, still 1-0 Brockton on top. Not for lack of opportunities for the boxers. It could easily be five or six for the boxers. Luis Sandro Andre. Getting ready to come into the game for Brockton. Yeah, I talked to Luis Andre Andre before this game began. He's a very he's a very humble kid, quiet. Seemed to be a I, I believe he's a K -Verd, I believe he's K Verdian and um looking he's looking he's looking to help Brockton keep this lead. called against Brockton. Opportunity and a goal for Barnstable is Chariotakis was way out of position. He charged out to try to grab it. The miscommunication with the Brockton defense and we are knotted up at one. Charlie Clark scoring that goal for Barnstable. Barnstable. Yeah, the Brockton defense all did all that they can to sort of help, sort of prevent any goals, but now it's time for the offense to really score. Yeah, one thing I noticed is that this Red Raider defense is sort of surrounding the Brockton forwards and midfielders just to make sure, just to prevent any goals. Brockton got a, Brockton have a lot of talented forwards, and the, one of the reasons why is because of the Red Raiders' swarming defense. Push down from behind was Andre. Free kick for the Boxers.
Barstool player saying, watch the give and go. That's exactly what happened. And Brockton with an opportunity oh. here in the box. Can they get a shot off? Oh. No, as Barnstable picks up the loose ball. Brockton making passes. Yeah, Vanilton Xavier just didn't know what he was doing on that part of the at that part. Get a turn and fire in that situation. Yeah, you really have to. A lot of communication on the field for the Barnstable Red Raiders, not so much for the Brockton Boxers. As Brockton starters get ready to come back in the game. Delson Gomes slow to get up, holding his lower back. Ooh, some rough play. And Elton Xavier having words with both the Barnstall and Red Raider and the ref. Free kick sent right out of bounds by Barnstable. Brockton takes over. Excellent pass, a back heel to Tyelson Gomes. Now Gomes, his cross broken up, but still loose. You gotta kick it. Uh, and Brockton fires a shot. A bit too much. High, as that one was kicked in midair. Barnstable escapes again. It'll be more of a loss for Brockton if this one ends up in a tie. Then Barnstable will, Barnstable will be a little bit happy if it, if it was a tie. I think Barnstable, even if they lose by one or two goals, they could view that as a success because this game could easily be a blowout. It's Leonardo Texera and Joel Arsenal get ready to come back into the game for Brockton. Yeah, smart move by um, Coach Furtado. Exactly what he needs. His two star players back in the game. It's in Lopes. Hovering on the sideline as well. This one back on Cherry Atakis, sophomore goalkeeper, getting some valuable game experience here today. Texera and Arsenal did. Marvin Mocher and Vanilton Xavier come out and now Edson Lopes gets ready to come in. Like they don't have the fire after the couple of missed opportunities early on. You gotta pass it to the second half. Tyleson Gomes should have passed it to the left side to Eric Brito. Eric Brito was open. 
That's Gomes flicking it up for Texera. And Barnstable takes it away. Jalen DeRosa now in the middle of the field. Up for Texera. Texera on the off wing. Launches one, Texera, Ooh. and it might have been tipped by Sylvester. It is going to be a corner kick for the Brockton Boxers. Exactly the reason why Furtado wanted him back in the game. Taken by Eric Brito. Brito's low kick, and it's headed out. It will be another corner kick for the boxers. Brito, another low kick. This one loose in the box, back heeled. Loose, Sylvester can't get a handle on it, and it's sent just wide. By the boxers, another near miss. Wow. Wow. will able to clear it out at least momentarily. Now Paulo Romalo with it. Hits the ref and inadvertently bounces right back to Romalo. It would have been a possible opportunity the other way had it not. Hmm. This game, the middle frame of three consecutive days here at Marciano Stadium. Oh, right. I want to like talk about last night's 18-0 New Bedford shutout of Brockton High football. Oh, nice. Game that was the, uh, very tough to watch. Of course, today it's Barnstable and the Boxer men's soccer team, and tomorrow it's a big three-divisional matchup. The Durfee Hilltoppers come to town to face the Boxer men's soccer team. Yeah, that one should be a fun one. Tomorrow afternoon, keep your eye on our Twitter page, at Brockton Channel, for the football brackets, should they be posted in a timely manner. Soccer season starting to wind down too. The last day of play is November 4th. October 30th. October 30th. So middle of the week, yeah. last day of and play. Continuation. Uh, the NIA has said, hey, we've been rained out. I mean, we've been making up a plan four games in a week. They said, absolutely not. We cannot delay the time at any longer. And the playoffs begin. Playoffs will begin that weekend, yeah, November 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Here's a shot and another save by Sylvester.
Hampton Lady Boxers soccer team. Stunning upsets over the New Bedford Whalers. What was the score of that one? It was 4-1 to one on the road. And then a 4-zip zip here at Marciano. So if they beat Durfee once, they claim the big three. Get the automatic bid into the playoffs. With three or four wins on the year. Would be five at that point. No. No. If they beat Turkey twice, they'll be five. The football no, team no. may be in, may be out. I think we'll be in football. We were four going into yesterday. Texera trying to make a very acrobatic play. He has it. He launches a shot. Oh. And another diving stop by Sylvester. <sighs> yeah, Sylvester just, he's having a ball game so far today. His teammates are going to be loving him after this one. do have to figure out what that weird penalty kick that wasn't a penalty kick. Yeah, that was weird was. to me as well. Why there were boxer defenders allowed in the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Texera creating space. Launching one, it's spinning. And the Red Raiders take over. Yeah, the Red Raiders, they're really respecting to share his game, triple teaming him and doing whatever they can just to make sure he does not get any shots off towards the goal. I think after that hat trick in the championship game, you have to triple team him. Of course, they, of course. <laughs> He's getting a lot of attention from everybody in the league. Jonathan Rodriguez last year as well. As this is going to be a free kick for the boxers. On the line of the box, that's that's a bold call. That should be a PK. The ball placed an inch outside of the box. As long as the referee is sure. Yeah, Derek Pina as well from that last year's team. The call is top right over the wall by Mr. Caro. It's going to be taken by Edson Lopes. A shot off the post and out. And this one wow. directly through the uprights. Brockton has been very unlucky in this game. Brockton has been very unlucky. Wow. That makes it three crossbars, numerous missed opportunities by inches. and another save by Sylvester. Wow. 12.58 remaining. It is knotted up at one apiece. I think Brockton has about 30 shots on goal in this one. Must be a record. <laughs> Must be a record. Well, it all depends. If we go by NHL rules, hit posts are not shots on goal. Really? Oh. Okay. Okay. Very 
is talk of merging the big three division and the old colony league in which Barnstable is a part of. Okay. Parts of all, I'm sure, not thrilled with joining the Big Three Division as Brockton's going to handball called against them. I think the distance traveled would be a, a bit of a problem. That'd be a, that'd be a long trip. So they would join the Cape and Islands League. So that would put us in with Dartmouth, Bridgewater, Raynham. In a, would that make it a five-team division? Texera heading this one just wide again. Yeah, Barnstable, they're just playing conservative. They're not. They're just trying to make sure they leave here with a tie, it seems like. I haven't seen much offensive at pursuit from them. In Brockton, they want to, and they just want to win. Brockton trying to shield it out of play. They do just that. Goal kick for Brockton. Kamoy Jones into the game for the Red Raiders. He replaces number eight, Chris Losk. Rosa has an entire highway of room left to run. Now it's Lopes on the far side turning with it. His cross broken up by the Red Raiders. Throwing deep in Red Raider territory, this one off of Barnstable. It'll be a corner kick. Eric Prito going to take it. Prito, the southpaw taking it from his native side, curving it inward. Come on, Eric. Low kick headed out immediately by the Red Raiders. Now Romalo heading it and no boxer in the area in which it fell and a handball called on Brockton the second one of the half. Yeah, Brockton will be elated if they could just get one in these last eight minutes. Sylvester bobbling this one a little bit, but makes the stop. So tomorrow's keys to the game, Matt, will be to not hit somebody close. Close don't count. Tomorrow's keys to the game for the boxers to have a chance at the big three title. Yeah, they have to remember that. Score more goals are, than the other team. That's, yeah, cross Crossbars balls. are not part of the back of the net. And convert the missed opportunities. Constant, Constant pressure on the offense. Well, 
We'll add a key to the game for tomorrow's matchup against the Derby Hilltoppers. Sharpen your cleats because it might be a sheet of ice out there. Mm, what's the temperature for that one? The weather. High, high of 47, low of 30, and it's going to be raining in the morning. Wow. That's why we was playing it. Get Chris Cunningham and the boxer hockey team over here. Another corner. It'll be taken by Brito on the far side. The southpaw in the shadow of the Rocky Marciano statue. Which, if you haven't been over there, they've done an unbelievable job. Just with the landscaping and the brickwork over there. It, it, it really works. Brito a little bit high and long. And Barnstable's going to clear it out. It'll be a Brockton throw in. Tyleson Gomes going to take it. Bomb it. Bomb it in there. They crowd the box. Bomb it in there. Like that. Yes. A bomb. It's Ooh. loose. Ooh. Oh. A double oh. bicycle. Wow. And it goes off the football post and. Wow. Out. Nice. Nice what effort. an athletic play by Leonardo Texera. Athletic play and great effort as well. A timeout called by Barnstable. And I, and I don't know if I've ever seen a soccer game where it has been once so one-sided in terms of just... And yet still tied. Still tied. Five thirty-five to go. In the second half, it's knotted up at one goal apiece. It's the Rocky statue, part of the numerous upgrades here at Marciano Stadium. The lights, Champions Park, finally finished over there, surrounding Rocky. Yeah, Rocky Marciano, definitely one of the faces of Brockton and one of the best boxers of all time. But I still say pound for pound, Hagler Hearns three rounds is good as it is good as it's ever been. It's a bold well, take from Mr. Carroll. Oh, that's Sports <laughs> Illustrated even ranked that as being one of the top three fights, even though it was three rounds. He said Hagler in the three round fight. Hagler Hearns. Hagler and uh, Hearns. Yeah, that was certainly at the height of boxing. Goal kick for the Red Raiders off of the timeout. Bye, bye, bye. Now it's Texera with a little bit of room on the near sideline. Back heel to Brito is cross, and it'll be a corner kick. Talking about boxing as Brito overshoots the corner kick and Barnstable clears it out. There's talk of a uh, Habib Nurmagomedov and Floyd Mayweather fight. Yeah, that'll be that'll be it's a good all one. Rumors at this point because nobody from Floyd's team that'll be a good one. the UFC in any way, shape, or form. And then a McGregor rematch is being talked about. Man, McGregor lost the big one to um, Khabib, right? That was the, the 300 million fight for Floyd Mayweather. All he did was dance around. A 
and all he did was dance around. Yeah, he did dance around, threw a couple jabs, took some punches. I mean, it really wasn't that great of a fight. I should reach out to McGregor's team and say, I'll dance around for, for 45 uh, minutes if you did, want to give me half of that money. He wanted to go. I mean, he did. He wanted and very well to just dance around, and that was the strategy to wear him out. He did. Yeah, Mayweather is probably one of the more hated athletes in sports because of that, his defensive approach. People wish he was more offensive, more of an offensive fighter. Personally, I wish he was a little bit better of a human being. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's, yeah, that, as well as that. Mm -hmm. Here's an opportunity for Barnstable. It's Chariotakis and... Offsides. That's a late call if I've ever seen one. Three minutes to go, still knotted up at one goal apiece. The Barnstable Red Raiders, the Brockton Boxers. It'll be a corner kick for the Boxers. Brito charging over. Boxer thrown with two and a half to go. Lest we forget how the St. John's State semifinal game ended. And Ooh. a header by DeRosa and an excellent diving stop by Sylvester. Beautiful save by Sylvester. Beautiful. Exquisite. St. John's State semifinal game last year was knotted up at one goal apiece. In the final two minutes, Jonathan Rodriguez awarded a penalty kick that Brockton converted on for the win. Two minutes to go, official time kept on the field by the referees. It'll be a free kick for the boxers. Edson Lope's gonna take it. Headed by the Red Raider wall that was nowhere near 10 yards away from the spot of the ball. Mm. And another save by Sylvester, but he stepped out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Sylvester made the stop and then spun with it. This one sent out of bounds, throwing for Shoot it. Shoot Lopes. It. About a minute 15 left in the second half. Now it's Louis Spinola. And Sylvester, another stop. Romalo sending this one over his head, looking for Spinola. Takes a weird bounce, and now it's Joel Arsenault. Brito on the near sideline. Now DeRosa. DeRosa. Tripping over himself. Mm. Goal kick for the Red Raiders, about 40 seconds to go. Barnstable trying to get number 12, Andrew Ramsey, in the game. Romalo in a foot race again. He'll win this one handily. Back to Chariotakis. Back to Paulo Romalo. Yeah, Brockton has to, must react quickly. This will probably be the last offensive rush of this game. Leonardo Texera, can he get a shot off? He is not able to corral the pass. Throwing for the boxers with zero time remaining. It's a nice throw in. 
Deep throw and mm. it's headed up and out. Wow. And the whistles blow and this one has come to an end. It will end in a 1-1 draw. And Chris, the story of the game, missed opportunities for the Brockton Boxers. Many missed opportunities. As I said, probably a record for shots on goal. And the Brockton defense played well. They only allowed one goal. But I think Barnstable is walking away this one happy because they knew they were not the better team. Player of the game for me, Colin Sylvester, the goalkeeper of the Barnstable Red Raider, had a phenomenal game as he was peppered early and often by the Brockton Boxers. I'll agree with you on that. Player of the game, certainly Sylvester. So it's a 1-1 draw. The Brockton Boxers and the Barnstable Red Raiders. Brockton moves to 5-5-3 on the year. Barnstable 6-6-1. Six, six, and, and Brockton back at it in approximately 24 hours here at Marciano Stadium. The Durfee Hilltoppers in a must-win for the Boxer men soccer team. It's 1-1 the final score of the Barnstable Red Raiders, the Brockton Boxers forever here at BCA. My broadcast partner, Chris Bazile, our cameraman, the Greek freak, Phil Philippides. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.